We're gamers united, where we're gonna play games. You know we're gonna have fun. Plus, we share our game play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gamers United. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the final episode of Resident Evil Revelations 1. Uh, let's get into it. We're going to have the pre finally pre final previously on. Previously on Resident Evil Revelations. Come clean with us, O'Brien. Don't leave anything out. Everything is in perfect order. Sorry. Enjoy the rest of the celebration of the Queen Dido, Norman. <laughs> Raymond realized that Morgan was not who he seemed. So we set this trap together. The whole Veltro Revival Act. The mountain hideout, the coordination of the ships, all to put heat on Morgan. But I haven't given up yet. They've left us with an ace in the hole. <laughs> Sorry, a little indigestion, or uh... Uh, not that, um, forget what it is. Uh, you got a little sinus congestion. I met, I'm, oh. The final oh. queen. Oh, wait. <laughs> yes, Queen Dido. She's been resting on the ocean floor since that day. Which means we'll find her. A Terra Grigia. Exactly. We have a responsibility to see this mission through. O'Brien out. SAA is hereby under the direct supervision of the FBC. Clive R. O'Brien, you are under arrest for collaborating with the terrorist organization Veltro. Chris, Jill, you're our only hope. But yeah, I didn't get a, I had a heavy day, work there day. It is. A little tired, but remains of Terra Grigia. Have enough strength to finish this off. And the Queen Dido. Hopefully. Approaching drop off point. Looking good, Chris. Though the final boss does give me a little um frustration. But I don't know, we'll see what happens. I believe we do a part A, and then we'll do part B when we'll go to the bus. That's the Queen Dido. The third queen. Five hills, that's good. Well, I guess I don't have to do the round. Wrong thing with that one. Uh, 
Yeah, that looks like some place I need to go, but let's see if there's a... <clears throat> Wanna make sure we check everywhere. Oh, this is a, a little room. Uh, don't need machine gun. Don't need that. Oh, look, some sharks! Wait, did this go into nothingness? He died a human, more or less. I wonder if those corpses on the beach were Veltro. Something's still alive. Careful. You won't be able to fight them off underwater. So we have to do something with it's that. an electric lock. I hope the emergency power still works. The wires are all pulled apart. I'll fix them. Okay, I'll see if I can get the power going. The whole There we go. Next to get back. Jill, the door's open. Okay, on my way back. I just have to circle the same route. Step up backwards. And now we're in here. Okay, now we just have to go. Ammo, thank you. <clears throat> so 
surprised it still works. Being down here, I forget how long ago Terra Gracia was. Was it a couple years? I forget. It's been. There's still air. Who's that? He hasn't been dead for long. Do you have something in his hand? He's FBC. There's something in his hand. Which recorder? This is Agent Dario Barioni of the FBC Armed Forces. The time is 1948. I request that this recorder be handed over to General Lansdale. If found by the next team, everyone on my team is dead. Killed by the devil himself. We were unable to retrieve the video log. Our mission has failed. Weltro, they weren't sitting around waiting for death to come to them. When the FBC arrived, they were waiting for us. Even though Terra Grigio was a year ago. Year ago. Okay. Revenge. I'm wondering if there's something to scan here. I want to put past the game to have a little hidden handprint or something. Like, oh, most people would just run past this area. But <laughs> it's like I was uh, wasting my time. But at least we know. I hope I could scan stuff in the room before. I'm loving all this rifle ammo. Oh my god. I'm never going to find all these in my... Never shall it be rest. We rise from the dead 
a spirit in callous and immutable force. <laughs> <laughs> You did yet? All of our interactions are right in here. We shall become guardians of the truth for as many years as it may take. Jack Norman was the head of Veltro. He has the video we can use to nail Lansdale. One shall find again his dismal tomb, shall reassume his flesh in his own figure, shall hear what through eternity re echoes. Vengeance of God, oh, how much artest thou? By each one to be. <laughs> Morgan! Morgan Lansdale! How dare you cross Veltro! Morgan, this is what you seek, is it not? <laughs> Indeed, this little machine contains the truth. Oh, the truth needed to bring down your entire charade. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, here we go. Final boss. This boss is a little tricky, as I remember, but... Just to keep trying until we fight, until we defeat him. He, like, does his teleport thing. Norman, stop! Morgan isn't here! It's no use. He's gone over the edge. Just teleport back here. Got you, dude. Where's up?
Oh, you're gonna do that? Okay. Play that, are you? We win? That guy is tough, man. This is an easy difficulty. Done. Everything finished. Finally. I can die. I can die. to fight this boss anymore. This boss... Oh. This is how Morgan treats his friends. I hope he finds more comfort in death than he did in life. Bet. The means of dispersion? The cruise ship is equipped with a UAV. That is your delivery system. Very well. Now show me the goods. Bonafide tea abyss. No vaccine. Not yet. Yes, of course. A little bit of this could turn a city inside out. I think we're done. I'll be on my way. Who would have thought, yes, that the lowly terrorists would receive a helping hand from the venerable commissioner of the FBC? Mm. Busted. As you can see, it's not likely you'll be wriggling out of this one. I seem to have underestimated the BSAA, and perhaps you as well. Bioterrorism security... We found this in the off-limits area near Terra Grigia. We're done analyzing it, so you can have it back. Director O'Brien, 
Surely you understand our dilemma. Without the Terragrigia panic, the ignorant masses would be unaware of the threat that lies before them. Yes, you may in fact be correct. No one has the right to detain me. Assessment Alliance. Required okay. my guidance. <laughs> it was all for the greater good. You're only fooling yourself. You said yourself. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. But I'm not Dante, and you're not Virgilius. Morgan Lansdale, you are hereby relieved of your position as FBC commissioner. And I'm placing you under arrest on suspicion of conspiring with Veltro in the planning and execution of the Terra Grigia Panic. With all due respect, Director O'Brien, the BSAA is making a huge mistake. Where have I heard that before? <laughs> we got an S rank. On the final mission. <laughs> we can finally reveal what happened to Terra Grigia. Yeah, but the cost was high. The BSAA will have to be overhauled. The storm is gone now. But how long will it last? After Morgan Lansdale arrest, the FTC was dissolved. The majority of its agents and resources transferred to the BSS BSAA. The BSSA uh, would then be reformed into an anti-bioterrorism organization under the auspices of the United Nations. I know that's how you pronounce the word. All those guys survived. Keith Lumley is now a leading figure at the BSSAA East African branch due to his accomplishments at Balkanian Moki. I can go by the prince. That's right. Uh, Quint Ketchum, on the other hand, continues to refuse promotion at any leadership position. He still works at the BSAA main headquarters. Something, something. Parker Lucini was found adrift offshore the Republic of Malta in the Mediterranean Sea and was rescued. After a month of medical treatment, Parker returned to his position as Special Operation Agent for the BSAA's main headquarters. Mm. Clive R. O'Brien decided to take responsibility for his actions and stepped down from this position as head of the BSAA. Is that Rebecca Chambers on the right? I don't know. He is currently an advisor to the BSAA and is now also writing a detective novel from the comfort of his own home. I think he was mentioned in Resident Evil 7. As for Jill Valentine and Chris Redfield, they have no idea what horrific fate awaits them. If I haven't played Resident Evil 5 on the channel, this is what leads into Resident Evil 5, uh, Resident Evil 5's uh, backstory. <clears throat> All right, that was Resident Evil Revelations. Um, love the game. It's, it has some intense moments, but it, you know, it gets the fear back into Resident Evil. I believe, like um, Resident Evil 1 and 2 and 
uh, Nemesis. And I think even Code Veronica have that kind of uh, enclosed horror sort of thing where you're going back and forth trying to get stuff and then all of a sudden these threats pop up even in these safe areas that you remember to be safe um, but uh, yeah uh, we play in res through Resident Evil Revelations 2 probably next um, I still gotta play through the back end story of Resident Evil 2 um, the original with the uh, Leon B story and Resident Evil 3 Nemesis I'll be playing that um I've already played Resident Evil 4. Um, I'm playing the remake this Friday, if you want to know when I'm rec actually recording this. Um, and I'll be hopefully posting this on Thursdays, if, if hopefully I am accurate to that. Um, I'm playing through Resident Evil 4 remake as I just passed Resident Evil 4, or beat Resident Evil 4 for the first time last year, at the end of last year, before either Christmas or before the New Year. Oh, it was before Christmas, and then Resident Evil Code Veronica was the uh, first time I beat it uh, before the New Year. And this is, like, I've beaten the games before, and I just didn't how to use cheats before. Um, but um, I'm, I forget what order I've done this in, or will do this in, so I haven't done it yet. I'm just going through Resident Evil 1 Remake on uh, my YouTube channel now, and I've already played through that. Um... But uh, yeah, it's it's an exciting uh, a bunch of games. Uh, can't wait to play more Resident Evil 2 Original and uh, Resident 3 Nemesis. I love those games. Uh, and then um, going through Revelations 2 after this, um, we get to play as Claire Redfield and I believe there's Barry Burton and um, his daughter, I believe. Like, I think it's, I think it's Moira, or I'm thinking of another character that's Moira, but also there's this little girl that's on the island that Barry finds. Uh, yeah, that's an island. I won't speak too much about the plot, but it's pretty good. It has Claire Redfield in it, so one of the core Resident Evil characters, Resident Evil 2 to be precise, um, and Resident Evil Code Veronica. Uh, I am going to be able to chill probably for the rest of the week till Resident Evil 4 comes out. As you, I told you before, I had a long day, so I'm probably going to take a little siesta with a little snacky food. Um, but it is uh, Tuesday, so I still have three more work days to go. And with, uh, Resident Evil 4, I won't be able to play until I think um, Saturday. I think Saturday I'm free, and or either that I'll do Sunday. But uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm just rambling on here. But I I, I didn't play this game until after the 3DS, or after uh, when it was on the Wii U. And I had a fun time with it. It's has some intense modes like the final boss and the all those damn hunters. But I'm glad I'm able to use those knives on the hunters. That definitely helped. Oh yeah, and there's a little bit of an epilogue here. Minus the prequel to Resident Evil 5. I hope those letters are supposed to spell something. Almost too easy, wasn't it? The company let them take Morgan out with the trash. Tough world. You file the report on this. By the way... Why save Parker? I have my reasons. The BSAA isn't as useless as I thought. Things could really heat up. Indeed. The fun's just getting started. But uh, as of now, there hasn't been any really story. I don't think there's been any story with Jessica Singh, unless it's tied into Resident Evil Revelations 2. Oh, total. I got an A. That's good. I pass. Five hours and 56 minutes. That's... Congratulations. You can now use save data. Okay, yeah. You can do New Game Plus in this. Um...
Oh, I wonder if the that one is a uh, new game plus. I'll save it there. Maybe that's all it was, new game plus. Oh yeah, that's uh, Resident Evil Revelations. Thank you so much for watching the series, um, or at least this episode. And if you haven't seen the other previous episodes, check them out and check out the other Resident Evil uh, games I played, as well as other things I've done on this channel. I've done Legend of Zelda, um, Resident Evil, of course, uh, Mario Maker 2. Um, played some the. Uh, Mario games of some NAS games uh, recently. Um, the Ninja Turtle games on the Cowabunga Collection and Shredder's Revenge. Uh, Luigi's Mansions 3. Um, I know Link's Awakening I played a long time ago. And uh, probably a bunch of other games. So Night Trap, Double Switch, um, uh, Dragon, Dragon's Lair 1, 2, and Space Ace. I'm probably not even going to say them all, even if I try to keep going on. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Game on, and take care. Bye, guys. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. Both me and Chelsea greatly appreciate it. Um, if you want to subscribe to this channel see more content, that's cool. If not, that's cool as well. Um, I'm a gamer who likes to play games, talk games, love games, breathe games, all that fun jazz. But... Uh, Everyone out there, have a wonderful night. Take care. And game on, gamers. Bye!